State Fair Park, I'm Dave Morris. Happy to be joined by, by Pete Kyle, Executive Director of Events and Judges with the American Quarter Horse Association. And the World Championships will be in Oklahoma City. They're setting up right now. The championships will be here November 7th through the 22nd, I believe. Pete, thanks so much for your time today. How are things going? Really good. Thank you for having us here. And uh, we always enjoy it here in Oklahoma City. Well, this is the 39th year of the World Championships, and I believe you were telling me 37 of those years have been right here in Oklahoma City. Yes, we've had a long-running relationship in Oklahoma City, and it's been a very good relationship. We really enjoy it. The location is really key for us. It's right in the central part of the United States, so it's equal for anybody from east to west coast to come to it. Well, you're out of the Texas area, so you're certainly no stranger to this region of the country and Oklahoma City. What are some of the things that you and the American Quarter Horse Association look forward to when you come up here for this event? The first thing that really makes it nice is the fabulous facility that you guys have put together here in Oklahoma City. Uh, you have so many nice show arenas for you and us and so many uh, work arenas. And then all your stabling is excellent. The stalls, they've redone all of those. And uh, the whole facility is really a first class facility. Our customers can come in and everything's right in house. So that makes it really nice. We have uh, people from 48 different states, nine different countries here this year. Uh, a little over 3,600 different entries, so uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a very big show. We have our best of our best here that are going to be competing in Oklahoma City. 3,600 entries, that's probably multiplied by you know three or four people with those. A lot of people coming into Oklahoma City for this event, and the economic impact is pretty big. Oh, the economic impact is huge. It's uh, uh, Oklahoma City Chamber of Commerce says it's over $19 million just the time that we're here. And we do, we have a lot of different people for every one horse. We, we like you say, we average three to four people per horse. And uh, they go to all the hotels and we fill the town up with hotels and, and the restaurants as well. It's an event that again, starts November 7th and runs through the 22nd. And Pete, walk us through some of the events that people can expect throughout the World Championships from the concourse to the arena itself. Well, we've added uh, some new things for the spectators this year. Uh, one of the things is we've, uh, we've done a sports zone little bar area that has a TV set up with all the, all the games on, whatever's happening that day, and then also a TV that has a live showing of what's going on in the arenas as well. So you, you don't miss anything that way. And that's really nice. And then we also developed a kids zone. And so we have a nice little area that the kids can go in and play in. It's real safe. It's right, right outside the arena here inside the corridor. And uh, so it uh, gives them a good place to go play and get some of that rambunctious worn out of them. So that's that's <laughs> I'm sure good. the parents appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. And um, we offer several new classes this year at AQHA, some Green Western Pleasure and Green Hunter Under Saddle classes. They're being well attended. All of our classes are up. We're, we're up overall over 200 entries this year, which we've, we've had huge shows in the past, and it just keeps getting bigger every year. So very fortunate. We're talking here with, uh, with Pete Kyle, Executive Director of Events and Shows. And Pete, I want to talk about you for here a second. Uh, you're new to this position. You've been in this position, I believe, just earlier this year. What are some of the changes that are going on with the AQHA and what can people expect, perhaps not just at this event, but future events 2015? Well, we're continuing to do more things for the exhibitors all the time, just like one of the uh, the things, this is the first year we've done it, is allow them to bring outside horses on the facility that are not showing here. Usually in the past, we've always restricted it to just the horses showing. And this makes it easy for a lot of exhibitors that have horses that are for sale. They bring here because of the number of people that are here. They can show it to people from all over East or West Side Coast. And so that makes it really nice. And that's a big part of this event too, is the actual sales part, right? It, it really is. We have a bit on that September, on November 15th, we have a, a horse sale on that Saturday afternoon. And uh, so it's real big, and then uh, people bring their outside horses just to market as well. Introductory shows to get new people involved, uh, perhaps looking at show formats, incentives. It looks like the association and yourself are really looking at the event. Hey, how can we evolve as you know, you know, people in events and entertainment involved? Our members, we're trying to do as much for them as we can. Uh, we're real proud of that at AQHA to try and have. Uh, a really a good membership base. We have over 270,000 members and so we're the largest equine association in the world and for that we try and give them what they want and that's it. Introductory shows where they can step in and learn about the shows. New members can come in, feel comfortable and just step right up and, and show against people that are on their same level as well instead of going right against some people that have shown for 20 years. 
So then you're, you're competing against people at your level, and then as you progress your way up, then uh, you can get right up to the top. Sounds good. Smart guy right here. Pete Kyle, Executive Director of Shows, uh, Events, and Judges with the American Quarter Horse Association, the World Championships here in Oklahoma City, November 7th through the 22nd. Thanks for joining us today. Congrats and best of luck with the event. Okay, thank you, Dave. Appreciate it.